Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anne. I am in Los Angeles for the weekend and on a whim, I decided to come to Alvera Street. Alvera Street is the oldest street in Los Angeles. Now, it's mostly a marketplace for tourists, but look a little closer. Hidden among all the commercialism are some real historical gems. And best of all, it's free. Los Angeles was founded in 1781, and Alvera Street is just as old. Alvera Street, as a historical landmark, opened in 1930. This cross is a replica of the original weather-worn 1930 cross that was commissioned to mark the entrance to Alvera Street. You can see that there are a ton of stalls that sell purses, shoes, masks, clothes. This is the marketplace for tourists. Check out this sundial. I couldn't find its exact age, only that it was dedicated to Kit Carson, who died in 1868. Here's a photo from 1930, and it looks a little weathered then. The sundial is outside of a Villa Adobe, the oldest building on Alvera Street, built in 1818. This building actually sparked the historical preservation of Alvera Street. Back in the 1920s, Christine Sterling toured Alvera Street, and this is what a Villa Adobe looked like then. She recognized the historical significance of the adobe and was appalled at its state of disrepair. So she led the effort to restore Alvera Street to celebrate LA's Mexican heritage. She's also the one who commissioned the cross to mark the entrance of Alvera Street. walls are. They are two and a half to three feet thick. bright it is outside, it's high noon, and I'm starving. So I went to Casa La Golondrina, the very first Mexican restaurant in LA, and it's located in the second oldest building on Alvera Street, the Peliconi House built in 1856. <laughs> I love, love, love Mexican food. Chips and salsa, a burrito, a Coke, a side of beans, and a mariachi band? What could be better? It was awesome. There are a number of other restaurants and taquerias all along Alvera Street. And there is music lots of music. This is a museum of the Sepulveda House. The Sepulveda House was built around 1887 and it represents the transition from Mexican architecture to a combination of Mexican Anglo architecture. 
It was okay, but next to the Sepulveda House is the America Tropical Interpretive Center. Do not miss this. I love making discoveries like this. I almost didn't come into this museum and to think of what I would have missed if I had not done that. David Alfaro Sequeiros was commissioned to do a mural called America Tropical, and it was unveiled in 1932, just two years after Olvera Street opened. But it was very political. In the center is an indigenous person hanging on a double cross, and in the upper right corner are some revolutionaries. In 1934, someone partially whitewashed it and then it was completely whitewashed by 1938. And it remained that way until in the 1970s, the mural starts showing through again. I wanted to show you some of his other work so you could see the vibrant colors that Sequeiros used. By now, my curiosity has peaked about this mural. So I asked where it was and she pointed me to this stairway. This is as good as it can get restored, but how fantastic is that? Outside of Alvera Street is a plaza. There are more vendors selling food and drinks and other things, and a community courtyard where the Shipei Totec Aztec dancers were performing. This statue, this tiled wall, the substation, this tiled mural, the Pico House, La Plaza de Cultura y Artes, a section of the Berlin Wall. I mean, there is a lot to see here. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at LA's past. Thank you for watching.